Okay, in this video, I just wanted to walk you through um, some of the various custom components that are on the site. And um, hopefully uh, this won't take long, but uh, it should be helpful to you. All right, so um, let's see if I can make window or size. There we go. All right, on the home page itself, um, the um, there's an issue with with the Squarespace when when we're positioning. Um, we positioned that very top bar where we have search and things. If you log out or if you open up another another browser, um, like. Right now I'm using Firefox, so if you opened up like Chrome or something that you weren't logged into, in other words, then you could kind of go back and forth and kind of see those things. But I just logged out just to kind of show you that these areas do exist, and um, but when you're logged in, you can't see them um, just because they're behind the the Squarespace edit or, yeah, the, the, the top admin bar up there. So that might be the only weird issue with this. Um, it's just because we have that bar positioned up there, but really probably in the admin mode, you shouldn't have to um, use any of those. Those are kind of for someone visiting the site anyway. So, um, all right. So as far as uh, the various areas of the site, um, the request a quote button, um, that's actually a positioned section. Um, you really shouldn't have to access it, but if, if you ever have to get, you know, get into that, um, it's basically a, a, um, a, a configurable, editable component that, that's there on the site. You can actually click and go into the HTML on those. Um, a couple quick notes on some of these areas. If you open them up and they say raw HTML, just keep them that way because most likely there's something kind of advanced. Um, and those areas, I mean, you can just kind of contact me back. But um, this is just kind of strictly code. So, I mean really you wouldn't need to make any changes in this section anyway but um, so let's go ahead and, and move forward um, you notice when we go into the the content edit mode kind of, kind of things uh, get a little weird looking you see how the, the things move around and it looks like things are being cut off it's just because we're now exposing this edit control that's there now so if we go back to preview then everything will kind of fix itself so um, I guess what while we're in this um, content edit mode, if you ever see like this ghosting up here, this kind of onion skinning, I guess you could say, um, it's just an issue with with the admin uh, a, account only on Squarespace, where we've positioned several elements, and because we've done that in, in like a you know like an advanced mode, um, th those will sometimes show up. But all you have to do is just refresh the page and they'll go away. But no one in the outside world would ever see those. Um, so these three sections that are on the home page, um, uh, this one up here, the testimonials one, this is all editable content. And this should also probably be edited with uh, the raw HTML mode. Um, but this is pretty simple to do. Um, there's really nothing in here that's that's that should frighten you. If, if, if you get in here and you are worried, um, what you can do is um, select all and then like, you know, you can copy this and paste it or like e email it to yourself or something like that or s save it offline somewhere. At least just, you know, if, if, if you're making changes and something doesn't look right, then at least you can get in touch with with me or Squarespace or somebody and say, hey, I broke something. But it shouldn't really be an issue, but just wanted to just want to let you know that um, in all the edit modes and all these edit windows, there's a plus sign in the upper right. If you click that, it'll make the, the edit screen go full screen. And it's usually easier to see these these type of um, editable areas. Um, so on this particular component, this is the uh, testimonial. And each one of these sections are animated. So um, you can kind of see by, by looking at these. Um, this is a block quote. This is basically the text that, that, that's going to appear. So this is kind of the, the quote text. Um, and then the site C I T E is who said it. So we're just citing, um, wh whatever the quote is. So, I mean, pretty simple stuff. Um, basically all you have to do if you want to add more is you basically just select this. This is the L I stands for list. It's a list item. And so I just selected that and I copied it and I can paste a new one there. 
and I can go grab a new quote and I'll go ahead and select it and paste it in there um, and then I'll just put like another job title so that way we know that we just made a change there we won't see it because it's going to animate through if, unless you want to wait for it but, um, so there we go if you just hit save close um, that'll go ahead and, and refresh that there we go all right so um, that area is covered and uh, that's my dog um, so then in this about consultant pharmacist area um, same way uh, if, if you want to edit this area um, we have this can be done in, in the WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get mode um, the three components that are that exist right now in this view are this heading which is uh, it's actually an h2 if you click on this HTML here you can see that's an h2 heading um, and then we have an image that's aligned to the right and then the uh, there's like paragraph text here um, we can do a couple things um, like you know if we want to put this image on the left we can select it and then we can say you know left align and then we can hit say close here and it'll it'll do its thing I, I have a particular style set up on um, on that image that it you know it puts the, like the rounded corner and a drop shadow on it um, so if if you wanted to either update that image you can you know or or change it out swap it out whatever you want to do but um, it's a 160 wide you don't have to worry about the height well you should but it you don't have to in, in, in the square space mode so uh, I'll just change that alignment back to right and I'll hit save and then um, this section here um, you know I mean most, most likely you're gonna have like a summary of of who you are and then you might want to say read more so what, what I'll do is I'll just type the word more um, and you can kind of highlight this text and then if you want to insert a link on that text we can select your web pages and then maybe we could say on your about section maybe we could send some people there so save close and really there's nothing more to edit there I mean if if you find that that you do accidentally you know select this content and you change this out then all you have to do is select this again and make that an h2 heading you should be fine so pretty simple stuff um, wait till this loads in there you go um, and then the, the 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 third area in the lower left down here this blog post this is automatically populated um, from each new blog post that arrives um, it'll probably take at most five, five minutes but you know it might, it might take a minute or two to show up on this on this section down here um, that's just it it's coming in via RSS so that's, that's why um, if you want to edit these areas down here um, it would be like the structure edit mode um, and you can this is strictly HTML only in this area so kind of walk carefully when, when making changes in there if you have any questions on that certainly don't hesitate to contact me um, and then each of these areas they while they are editable HTML widgets there's really nothing in there that is editable I mean it's basically an image and some code and then it's a link saying you know when you click it here's where to go so you know it's just one of those areas that you probably don't want to edit those because it will it will kind of break that that component if you do um, all the rest of the pages they're pretty much ready to go I mean you, you just go in and click edit and you can edit each individual page uh, the image is right aligned on all these so uh, and again the blog posts come in on the right and let's go over to the join our team section where I have oops that's not it on the about page um, this is where I have um, you know like this this large image and then we have kind of some some fake place placeholder text and then we talk about the team here so um, if you do add members to the team we'll probably have to um, you know set, send me like a quick a quick message and I can you know up, upload some things for you because this this area is is strictly um, complex 
I guess. So, I mean, it's you'd, you'd want to only edit this with HTML, um, but I can show you just really briefly how it, you know, how, how you do things, um, how, how it's built. Um, basically, I've, I've highlighted box one, box two, box three. Those are the uh, respective images that are on the front page there. And, you know, you can kind of see that this is the, this is David's area here. Um, not sure about titles on people's names. So, I mean, you can get in here and, you know, type, type whatever their title is. Um, and then each of these boxes corresponds to, to a pop-up. So this entire section, this box one section, this is all the code that makes up all that. Um, if you're familiar with HTML, certainly you can get in here and you can kind of change all this content. Um, but I can walk you through this. Um, then if you have like a LinkedIn account, I went ahead and, you know, accounted for that. If you want to do like a resume, we can, we can upload your resume and do stuff like that as well. So each one of those are handled the same way. And, and again, it's just one of these areas that you just want to edit this in the raw HTML mode. You don't want to switch it over. Otherwise this, this code will be written over. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I didn't make any changes, but um, you can kind of look at this functionality and kind of look what, what content is needed in these areas. Um, refresh this page here. So if, if we click this one, for example, we'll see, you know, the, the photo shows up and then we'll be able to link to these particular areas. Um, and I think that's about it. I mean, making blog posts, you're already familiar with those. I mean, it's going to be handled the exact same way that you would, you know, edit the other pages of the site. Um, and I think lastly are the forms. So if you go to one of the forms right now, like the request a quote form, you can easily add a new field and let's say it's phone number, create field. I'm going to give the field a name. So in this case, we'll say phone number. And maybe you want to have that required. So just go ahead and do that. And people know, I guess, how to enter a phone number and hit save. So that's basically how, how, you'll, build, how you'll build out the forms. And then uh, once people would submit the form to you, it's going to this page configuration. So you just hit configure this page. I did that pretty quickly. Um, so in, in structure mode is how you get to these buttons. Um, you'd say configure this page and kind of scroll down here. And this form will automatically save to this Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and that's located. I, I can show you where that's located in the file management, but it gives you the path here. Um, you can also collect entries via email. Um, so you'll want to check that and you'll be able to enter your email address. Um, and then it'll take people to a landing page. You can enter additional information on that landing page. Um, you can also send a confirmation email thanking them for filling out the form, etc. So there's that. And then when that form is filled out, if you go to website management, data and media file storage. Then you'll see captured data in this folder here. And since nothing's been done yet, you won't see it, but each one of those spreadsheets will exist right there. So, and each, each field that's added will also be added automatically to that spreadsheet. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, certainly if you have any questions, give me a shout. Thanks.